Sometimes hurricanes create another kind of storm, tornadoes. These dark funnels of violent winds have been called the hurricane's little sister. Like a hurricane, north of the equator, tornadoes whirl counterclockwise around a central eye. But the tornado's winds, which squeeze down into a compact tube or vortex, tend to be even more violent than a hurricane's. Tornadoes develop in very unsettled air created when sharply divided cold and warm air masses meet. While tornadoes occur over much of the world, including Europe and Asia, the area most famous for them is Tornado Alley in the South Central United States. Here in spring, cold dry air rushing south meets steamy hot air heading north from the Gulf of Mexico. Sometimes even a third air mass from the hot dry deserts of the southwest joins the party too. The meeting of the masses produces strong thunderstorms, but only occasionally tornadoes. Tornado formation is not entirely understood, and each tornado has its own special details. But in general, tornado weather sets up if fast-moving cold, dry air from the north rises up and over fast-moving warm air from the south. The cold air traps the hot air below. Between the two air masses moving quickly in opposite directions, a vortex might form. A vortex is a tube of rotating air. The vortex is horizontal and usually stays that way. However, sometimes a probe of hot air from below punches through the vortex. This can upend part of the vortex, which might then stand upright and under the right conditions, move downward. If it gets close to the ground, we call this vertical vortex a tornado. Tornadoes come in all shapes and sizes. Some are weak, some are violent. Most tornadoes last only a few minutes, but they have been known to last for hours. Like hurricanes, tornadoes need hot, moist air for energy. Inside a vortex is an area of extreme low pressure. This acts like a giant straw, sucking hot air, trees, and even houses into the sky. This low pressure also helps hold the wind funnel together. Some scientists estimate vortex winds may reach 400 miles or 650 kilometers per hour 